Good morning, it is Tuesday. Considering the amount of news that we have happening already, uh, this might end up being a, a two-parter. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right, so this is going to be the international news, and uh, part two will be the domestic stuff that's happening, because that's always fun. Ah, India is agreeing to buy Russian oil. So uh, now that all the uh, sanctions are in place and Europe's like, no Russian oil. And the U.S. is like, we don't need your commie oil. Uh, India is just like, over here, we'll, we'll take it. We don't give a crap. So yeah, uh, India is now... I'm sure somebody will have to go over to India and tell them, hey, you know, Russia's invading this other country. If you're buying their oil, you're paying for their war. And India will be like, and? <laughs> uh, Germany is buying uh, several F-35s from the United States, and they're stating it's because of the invasion of Ukraine so yeah Germany being armed with uh, highly technical deadly dangerous fighter jets what could go wrong speaking of fighter jets a member of NATO finally called officially for a no-fly zone over Ukraine and it was <clears throat> Estonia. Isn't that where Encino Man was from? So most countries have acknowledged that implementing a no-fly zone would ultimately be a declaration of war because it's saying our fighter jets are going to shoot down your jets and that's just uh yeah um uh, not really a, a good idea at this point and uh <laughs> so I'm guessing Russia's trying to get around this now, or we're just full of crap like usual. The U.S. is telling Europe that Russia is is in the process or trying to buy armed drones from China, and China apparently gave them the A-OK, -okay, we'll, we'll sell this stuff to you, at least that's what our sources are saying and when it comes to our sources i i would just take that memo and throw it in the trash honestly uh, china of course is denying it which only makes me think it's true so now i gotta take back that statement of like i don't think it's it's true but to catch 22 if they were doing it they'd deny it if they weren't doing it, they'd deny it. So either way, you have to think that they are doing it, right? Is that how that works? Because they're not going to come out and say, oh yeah, we're, we're selling that stuff to them. And then Russia's going to be like, you are? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> of course, they would probably play ball and be like, yes, yes, of course they are. We buy a ton of... Uh, Armed drones, yeah. So, uh, mm. and keep in mind, this is only like two weeks after a Saudi oil field was attacked by an armed drone, which uh, I don't recall anybody ever uh, claiming responsibility for that. But that's an ongoing thing in the Middle East right now: is uh, sending drones in and. Wasn't there that assassination attempt in, like, Central or South America where some dude was on a platform running for president or local dictator or something? And these drones flew in with bombs strapped to them and exploded? Oh. Yeah. By the way, if you want to know about the future of drone warfare, I, I do have a sci-fi book called Game Over. 
I'm told it's a horrible title. I thought it was a fun play on the whole, like, 80s video game thing, but, yeah. Um, anyways, that's out there if you want to check that out. But, um, yeah, as for uh, international news, that is about it. So, things are still heating up. Yay. Can't wait to see where this goes. Keep on typing.